This is part 7 of payroll management software. Today we will learn how to update employee salary and how to delete this record from database. Okay, first we will start uh, write code for this data grid view on mouse double click event then we'll write code for this update and delete button okay go to properties your event click a mouse double click here enter here we have to display employee id employee name join date salary per annum okay so text employee id dot text equal data grid view one dot selected rows row index will be zero dot cells your dg employee id dot value dot two string Then text employee name dot text equals data grid view one dot selected rows dot cells inside DG name dot value dot to string. I just copy these two lines and pasting below that. Here DTP dot text. Your column name will be DG data birth. Sorry, join date. And then fourth one DG salary. Your text box text salary when uh, double click uh, data grid view rows uh, that value should load in this text boxes okay that time um, save button should be enabled to false update and delete button should be enabled to true okay for that button save dot enable equals false button update dot enable equals true button delete okay let's start the application login go to employee salary In data grid view um, data are not displaying I think uh, we didn't call load data function in page load event okay yeah load data okay now start the application login employee salary here we have one record here we need to change this selection mode full row select then only um, the data will display here okay here go to properties selection mode here by default row header select change this to full row select okay save this and run the application login Yeah, um, data is displaying now we can change join date and the salary per annum um, so for that uh, we have to write code for this update button so double click this update button before updating the record we must confirm from the user by asking this message are you sure you want to update if they click s means we will update the record so here we will use data send method inside this will write code for update query update table name will be 
employee salary set column name here we have the column name join date join date equal DTP join date dot value dot to string inside will pass format month day and then year then we'll update salary salary column name will be salary equals text salary dot text in where condition where emp id equals text emp id dot text okay after updating record we should display message box dot show inside updated successfully then our message title will be message and then message box button okay then message icon will be information after updating record we should load that updated record in this data grid view um, for that we'll call load data function here and need to clear record clear data okay let's check this start the application login here employee salary double click this record so here i am going to change this uh, salary 6 lakh 50 thousand okay then click update button here it's asking confirmation message if i click yes it's updated successfully here we have updated salary 6 lakh 50 thousand okay now we will write code for this delete button okay in page load event uh, we must disable this uh, button delete and uh, button update okay then delete so here i just copy this message I just copy all the codes here and pasting here. Here, are you sure want to delete? Message will be delete. And then, if they click S, here we will write uh, delete query delete from employee salary. In where condition, we will put our employee ID only. It's will it will work delete from employee salary based on employee id condition here deleted successfully after deleting record uh, we will load the data and clear data okay let's check this login before deleting record i am going to insert one more record for employee id 3 year salary per annum will be 6 lakh click this save button so here we have two record okay i'm going to delete this second record if i press delete button it's asking confirmation message deleted successfully record deleted successfully okay see you there in next video uh, thank you for listening this